everybody to another week of GC Kids Online. I have so many amazing announcements for you this week. This is one of our last weeks only offering the video. I am so excited to announce that next week we finally get to be in person again. But don't worry if you can't come in in person. I will still be making the video for you. And I cannot wait to announce that we are in a new unit. We are officially in our fall semester, you guys. I started school this week and I'm so excited for you guys to start school. God is so good, you guys. And our two songs this week are so amazing. I have You Are Good and Nothing Is Impossible. Come and worship with me, you guys. Make sure you have a lot of room.
realize what awesome songs those are. So our big picture question for this new unit is how does God care for his creation? And we all know that we are part of his creation, so we know that he cares for us. And God loves and rules over his creation according to his perfect plan. You guys, we are part of God's perfect plan. And so in this unit, Jesus told the parables, told parables or stories to help people understand what the kingdom of heaven is like. And Jesus' parables show what it's like to live in God's kingdom where Jesus reigns supreme. One day, these stories will become our reality when Jesus returns and reverses the curse of sin. You guys, one day, these horrible things that are going on in this world right now will be no longer. Jesus will come and he will make this earth perfect again. And so I am so excited. So let's hear what this Bible story is about, you guys. <laughs> One day, Jesus went out and sat by the sea. Large crowds of people gathered around him, so he got into a boat and sat down. All the people stood on the shore. Then Jesus told the people parables or stories to teach them about the kingdom of God. Jesus' disciples asked him, why do you teach in parables? Jesus answered, not everyone will understand the hidden truths about the kingdom of heaven. Jesus reminded them about some of the words spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Some people look, but they do not see. Hmm. They hear, but they do not listen or understand. Oh. Jesus made these prophecies come true. Jesus said, you are blessed because you do understand. Jesus told a parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a man planted in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but it grows taller than the garden plants. It becomes a tree and the birds come and build nests in the branches. Jesus continued, the kingdom of heaven is like leaven or yeast that a woman mixed into 50 pounds of flour. The leaven makes the dough rise. Jesus told another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field that a man found. He reburied it and then he joyfully sold everything he had and bought that field. Then Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine oh. pearls. When he found one priceless pearl, he went and sold everything he had and bought it. Oh. When Jesus finished teaching the crowds, he left that place and went to Nazareth. The kingdom of God is growing in the world. The kingdom is valuable and worth giving everything for. While we wait for Jesus to return and fully set up his kingdom, we carry out the mission of telling others about King Jesus, who rescues sinners. Wow, that Bible story is so encouraging. The story point is that God's growing kingdom is more valuable than anything else. No matter how young you may be, you are making a difference and will be able to help God's kingdom grow. Each time that you show a friend or a family member a certain kindness, you are giving them a chance to be part of God's kingdom and meet their Lord and Savior that they might not have met without you. As children of God, we are told to love and as doing those acts of kindness, that is a that is how we show our love, you guys. And that is the true difference that God makes in our life. And this may even lead them to his kingdom. So now we have our questions from kids. And Pastor Brian is going to answer the question, where is God's kingdom? And what does it look like? Hey. 
Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian, and it's time for Questions from Kids. Tyler from Milton, Wisconsin asks, Where is God's kingdom? What does it look like? Tyler, that is a great question. And here's the answer. Really, God's kingdom is everywhere because God's kingdom is where God rules. And God is our king. He rules over everything and his kingdom will not fail. So in one sense, just look around and this is God's kingdom. But in another sense, we're waiting for God's kingdom to be here in perfection because we know that people sin, we rebel against God's kingdom, his authority, and we do our own thing. And so the world doesn't look like it's supposed to look because of our sin. So we're waiting for God's kingdom to be here perfectly and that's gonna happen when Jesus returns. We know that Jesus said when he returns, he's gonna put an end to all sin, all rebellion, all death, all suffering, everything bad will stop. And the world would be like it should have been all along, perfect again, with God ruling perfectly over his people who obey him perfectly. So God's kingdom, when you look around, it doesn't look like it's supposed to look like because we're waiting for Jesus to come and set it up in perfection. And so that's what our hope is in Christ, that he will return and God's kingdom will be here in perfection with God ruling perfectly over everything. So here's a question back for you. What do you think God's kingdom would be like when Jesus returns? Wow, God's kingdom sounds so amazing, you guys. I cannot wait to be part of heaven, you guys. I know that sounds crazy, but to me, our Lord and Savior is going to be the most perfect reunion. And God's kingdom is where God rules. So God's kingdom is everywhere. So it's not just in heaven, it's here on earth too. God's kingdom must be perfect. And since we all sin, we have to wait until Jesus comes take all the hurt and sadness away, and everything will then be how it should have been. Perfect, and with God at the center. And that is all that I have for you this week, you guys. I cannot wait until next week where I get to see some more of you guys. There are activity pages up on the website, as always, that your parents can do with you before you start school. Get into God's word, you guys, and I miss you so much. I will be praying for you, and I hope you have an awesome week.